guys, Saber here. Welcome back to Blade Radio. Here we're always pushing the pedal when it comes to bring you the best mix of driving music and high quality value for money car products and services. You got Edge right here too and you are absolutely right Saber. It's all here under one roof. And what's more, our friendly and attentive staff is always on hand to give you expert advice on the latest car products available. Of course, Blade offers top industry brands like Sparco, 3M, Dub, Meguiar's, Pioneer, Mothers, Garment, and many more, all of course at a very reasonable price. We hope you enjoy your visit here at Blade Auto Center. Meanwhile, let's get right back to the music. Keep it here and always remember, if, if it's, it's Blade, Blade, it's, it's better. better. We're back! We're back! Okay, good afternoon, good afternoon, or good evening, or good morning. Kung nasaan man kayong bahagi ng mundo, magandang araw po sa inyo. Ito po ang ating Our Daily Drive on Blade Radio Live. This is your everyday tips for the everyday driver. In today's episode, uh, we will be talking to the president of BMW Philippines, uh, Mr. Spencer. You will talk about the motorcycles first before we go to his cars. But before that, if you are new to this channel, my name is Ira Panganiban. This is Our Daily Drive, your everyday tips for the everyday driver. If you are new to this channel, please like, subscribe, follow Blade Auto Center on YouTube, Facebook, Lazada, and Shopee. Look for the keywords Blade Auto Center. Yeah, let's begin our show. Let's begin our show. Before I go anywhere, ya yeah, announce ko lang na meron po tayong raffle at the end of the show. Ha? Meron tayong raffle at the end of the show. Yung first 50 sharers with sharer badge qualified sa ating roleta. Make sure lang na na-share ninyo ang program. Naka-public siya. Tapos mag-comment kayo ng... Done. Doon sa ilalim mo. Kaya share. Do. Yung mga ganong comment. Pero mag-comment kayo, sabihin sa amin na na-share nyo na kami para maisama kayo dito sa ruletang to. Itong ruletang to, at the end of the show, we will roll this. Paikuti namin to. Bobolahin namin yung makala ninyo. Ang mananalo, mananalo ng mga regalo. Ng mga regalo mula sa Blade Auto Center. O oh, yan, surprise yan, surprise. I'll tell you about it later. But uh, yun yung gagawin natin at the last part of the show. Ito ang announcement ko. Huwag kayong aalis dahil pagdating sa dulo at ni Roleta namin si Roleta. <laughs> anyway, at pinaikot namin si Roleta. At nanalo kayo pero hindi kayo sumagot ng present. Hindi kayo nanalo. Maghahanap ulit ako ng ibang mananalo. Kaya stay until the end of the show so that you can win this special prize from Blade Auto Center. Okay? Okay. Okay. Before we go anywhere, I'd like to thank our sponsors. Please watch it. Blade Radio Live would like to thank the following sponsors. Dub Project. Hero Motorcycle Accessories. Micro Magic Premium Car Care. Sparco Racing Accessories. Pioneer. Transcend. Bosch. Virtua. Type S. If you like the programs at Blade Radio, please support our sponsors. And now, let's get back to our regular program. Hello, Bladers. There you go. There's our sponsors. Thank you very much. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe all of their Facebook uh, and uh, social media channels. Uh, but in the meantime, katulad ng pinangako ko sa inyo at uh, kanina pa namin ipinaplug sa aming uh, mga social media channels. Ang uh, um, guest ko ngayon ay si Spencer Yu, ang presidente ng uh, BMW Philippines. 
Yan. <laughs> siya yung uh, in charge dito sa mga pagdating dito sa premium car brand na ito. Isama na natin sa screen. Spencer, good afternoon. Maganda ka araw siya, Spencer. <laughs> ayan, ayan. Uh, Spencer, uh, as, as, as we've said, as I've said earlier, no, uh, nag-launch ka ng uh, apat na bagong motorsiklo uh, for BMW. Yes, last Saturday, bale, uh, isang del po yun, ano? uh, that is what we call the BMW R90. Then within the BMW R90 family, there are four variants there, which was mm-hmm. the R90 Pure, the R90 Scrambler, the R90 Classic, and the R90 Ultra GS. Mm-hmm. So that is the, it is an updated model that we introduced last, uh, last Saturday night lang, alas sa isa YouTube channel namin at sa Facebook page ng BMW Philippines. BMW oh. Motorola Philippines. Oo, oh, ang dami nanonood. Nakita ko, andun ako eh. Present ako dun sa, ano yun eh, dun sa launch yeah, na yun you, eh. Thank you, oh. Anyway, uh, what's the difference between this, uh, these uh, four motorcycles? Well, the four models, of course, it's R90, but they have individual models. They also have yes. individual uh, identities, di ba, uh, Spencer? Mm. Well, basically, it's the R90. That's the heritage lineup of BMW. Uh, mm-hmm. It started with the R90 Classic, which was introduced last uh, 2013 to commemorate 90 years of BMW Motorrad. Mm-hmm. Then on top mm-hmm. of that, there is also the there are three other models. They started also with the R90 Pure, which is basically the the basic model, no? The the which is uh, basically it is the standard model which can be used as a blank canvas that riders can customize they can fit different parts they can paint things change the color para to really make the bike very personal no so yeah. uh-huh. Uh-huh. kasi kung bumili ka ng mamangali nakakahinayan din mong pinturahan at <laughs> awit di ba pero at least kung sa R90 Pure ka nag-umpisa marami kang pwedeng option na pwede ikabit maraming customization yeah. Yeah. Then there is also the Scrambler, uh, which is uh, a little bit more uh, relaxed seating position, a little bit taller also, uh, more uh, yeah, and then uh, with also the raised exhaust. Mm-hmm. And finally, there is the Urban GS, which is more of the off-road, uh, off-road motorcycle variant of the R90 family. I see. Uh, Professor, this upgrade has quite a number of different uh, features from the previous model. Uh, katulad nung mga ano yun, uh, traction control may, may, mga, may mga ganito bang uh, bagot dun sa bagong uh, R90s? Actually, yung sa R90 uh, na bago, no? the 2021 model ang talagang pinakamalaking diferensya dun is kung yung, yung makina eh. mm-hmm. uh, the previous R90s had uh, actually the previous, R, the previous generation R90 had actually had one horsepower more <laughs> but this this one has what the new one has one horsepower less but the way the power and the torque is delivered and layo na mm-hmm. talagang ang 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 lakas talaga ng torque niya sa mid-range ngayon i think that's the single biggest difference mm-hmm. then on mm-hmm. top of that there is also the uh on top of that you also have the different features lahat ng headlights at ang ilaw LED na then you have uh ABS Pro riding modes then you also have uh uh, cruise control, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and of course, you have a whole new range of colors and of different paintwork that makes each R90 really attractive to our riders. So, para prior to your ano, Spencer, prior to your launch of the this new four models with R90, marami na ako nakikita ng R90 sa well, R90 and GS sa lansangan natin. Yes. Ano, dami na, dami na. Why is it? Why? Why is it that itong BMW bikes natin seems to be the favorite big bike of? It, it, it's the big bike of choice of Filipinos, no? Uh, we can say that. Well, I hope so, no? Uh, we we need to we, we 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 would like to think that we are the big bike of choice, but uh, I keep reminding the team that we should we, we we should aim for that and we should continue working to be able to ensure that we are uh, we become the big bike of choice. But if I were to say some of the main attributes that uh, the BMW motorcycle lineup is good for uh, why, why the motorcycle lineup is is quite accepted here in the Philippines I guess one of the major points would be the availability of different heights mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. of the motorcycle like our 1250 GS for example uh, we are 
the, we were the very first no, to offer uh, low seat and low suspension options. Mm-hmm. Eh, hindi naman lahat ng Pilipino kasing tangkat ng mga German yan. Ano? So, <laughs> alam mo naman tayo, mga Asian tayo. So, we accept that and we were one of the very first to also offer you know, the lower seating and low suspension options para uh, abot ng Pilipino. Yeah. Uh, even a height of 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five has no problem reaching a uh, riding a R250 GS. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, another possible way is, of course, we are the only ones, we are the only bike, premium bike right now to offer a five-year warranty. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. A five-year oh. warranty also on our product. So that also gives a lot of confidence to the owners. And maybe another sticking point there is we do have a lot of emphasis on after sales. Mm-hmm. Para sigurado, mm-hmm. nationwide yung coverage na, Sorry, nationwide yung coverage natin, no? Metro Manila, Pampanga. We do have one in Cavite. Then we also have one in uh, Cebu and Davao. So we have uh, basically nationwide coverage also. So that no. may be one of the things. Hindi naman natin pwedeng sabihin, yun yun, ano? <laughs> Pero sabi ko nga, eh, this is one of the... Pagdating sa big bikes kasi napaka-familiar nung, ano, eh, nung BMW. It, it, it's... it's it's one. It's the one big bike that I see most times all over. Well, in Metro Manila, and when I go to the northern, di ako kasi masyado mm-hmm. sa southern Philippines. Pero northern Philippines, sa kakasabay ko lagi yung pagmuwi ako sa probinsya ko, eh. de ba? Mm-hmm. They're uh, they're very ano. They're very proliferate. They're very familiar. And uh, I must say, uh, they're one of the my favorite uh, big bikes. I would like to own one. Thank you. Thank one. you. I would like to own one. Uh, nabanggit mo, madami kayong showroom. Uh, isa to sa importanteng ano, eh, factor para para makita ka ng uh, mga bibili ng big bikes. And I know for a fact that uh, you have uh, BMW Motorrad showrooms uh, not only in Luzon but in the Visayas and Mindanao area. Yes, in Cebu and in Davao. In Cebu and Davao, ano, uh, yes. two of the biggest two of the biggest uh, metropolis outside yes. of Metro Manila. We do have, uh, yeah, we do have one in uh, in Cebu sa may reclamation. And we have one also in Davao, in uh, Buhangit. Mm-hmm. Hello? Hey, Pilar, mm-hmm. Sa Abriza yun. Oh. And sa Luzon, we have three. One in Metro, uh, yung Salibis. And then we have one also in Danghari. And of course, we have the one in Pampanga. Mm-hmm. Yung sa Pampanga will be uh, building a new showroom. Mm-hmm. A totally huge new motorrad facility there, which should be completed by, in about a year's time, siguro. Oh, Ang maganda dito sa BMW Motorrad is, Hindi siya laging nakakabit doon sa BMW car showroom eh no. Ay, Usually stand alone, stand alone unique siya. Eh. Very yes, unique siya no. Oh. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, yes, yes. market very different. Eh. Oh, malaki eh, no. Iba yung ano no, iba yung iba yung mindset ng bumibili ng motorsiklo, especially for big bikes for that matter, Spencer. Yes. Oh. It's a what, bit what, also. what makes them different from car buyers since you hold both we we know that BMW holds holds both the markets. You handle both the Motorrad and the BMW cars. So what's the difference between a car buyer and a motorcycle buyer? Well, let's put it this way, no. Uh, nobody really needs a BMW motorcycle. <laughs> it's a pure toy. And so the ones really buying a BMW motorcycle are are really enthusiasts who are very passionate about what they do, mm-hmm. talagang hilig talaga nila. And talagang... I mean, lahat naman tayo, di ba? Uh, oh, yeah. Lahat tayo, may mga hobbies tayo. Eh. May mga hilig uh-huh. tayo. Eh. There are things yeah. we enjoy doing. Uh, some people like watches. Some people like riding bicycles. Some people like playing basketball. And and some people like riding motorcycles. And some people in in the group of people riding motorcycles there are some who like riding bmw motorcycles but it is their hobby it is their passion mm-hmm. so it is uh, it is something that they are very they are very passionate about it is something that it is very close to them for them it is a hundred percent your fun so talagang binubuhusan nila ng oras yan talagang binibigyan nila ng attention yung kanilang mga laruan na motorsiklo. So talagang iba yung level of enthusiasm and passion ng mga customer ng, ng uh, mga motorsiklo. You, you, you were saying that eh. And, and, then, and I was looking at, well, I always look at the, these, uh, these groups, ano. And 
ang isang napansin ko dyan is, sabi mo nga, uh, yung passion nila, hobby nila to, and most times adventure eh. And yung passion mo sa kotse, mabilis ang kotse, you can get to places. And there are other places that you cannot get to with with cars, but with motorcycles, the adventure mindset is ano eh, no? is part of it. It's a huge part of the motorcycle, especially the big bike motorcycle uh, uh, culture. Uh, am I right, Spencer? Correct. And um, siempre nandun na rin yung thrill, no? Yani pag nagraray ikaw sa masakay ka naman, de ba? So mm-hmm. alam mo naman yun na na walang aircon yan, pag nagra-ride ka, yung hangin nasa katawan mo, pag binuksan mo ng konti yung visor, papasok yung hangin sa mukha mo, the feeling is also very different eh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ano rin yung pakiramdam and uh, I mean, another thing is, alam mo naman, nobody rides alone, right? Uh, yeah, nobody. Barka- nobody rides alone. Palaging barkada yan eh. So, yeah. uh, sama mo yung barkada mo eh, di ba? Parang saya-saya ninyo lahat eh. So, talagang may ganun eh. Talagang <laughs> ganun eh, no? Yung, ano, yung, so, yung adventure nga, di ba? The adventure factor. Oh, eh. the, uh, going places, uh, camaraderie, uh, the thrill of uh, ano, open open air, di ba? The thrill of okay. open air travel. Kaya eh, yung kaibigan nga natin si Egay Quesada, kababalik lang, di ba? Galing din sa Bisaya, Mindanao, Lupia. 3,310, if I'm not mistaken, 3,510 or 3,310 kilometers in 13 days or something like that, or 12 days, parang gano'n eh. 12 days, 12 days, 13 days, yes. 13, 13 days, days ba? So, nag-lismin loop na yan. Hindi pa nag-luzon loop si, si pare okay. yan, no? Oo, oh, uh, di ba? Hindi pa siya nag- <laughs> Hindi in, in, the next, in the next two weeks daw titirahin niya yung Luzon eh para makumpleto na niya yung Philippine Loop ng kasi may ano yan eh may meron silang uh, certificate niyan eh to uh, to go around in a motorcycle around the Philippines yes. diba Uh-oh. Have you have you done this do you plan to do this with the motorrad o medyo wala ka nang oras sa dami mong trabaho Personally hindi siguro <laughs> Baka pwede na natin i-assign sa Pwede na natin i-assign kay Hill Balderas Kay <laughs> <laughs> Hill na natin ibigay ano? Si Hill na gumawa ng Kung Pilipin Luka Meron pa natin yung kailangan kang Magbebenta pa tayo rito Pati sa sakyan Kailangan ka din magbenta dito But you sponsored this young lady To move around the Philippines And feature a whole bunch of places in the country Am I right? Well, uh, we didn't really sponsor her. She borrowed. She 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 was contacted, I think, by the Department of Tourism. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. She's working with the DOT, no, together mm-hmm. with uh, Motor Tourism with Sen- with Senator JB. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. She is doing a Philippine loop, pero hindi siya yung Philippine loop na ginawa ni na parang ginawa ni Egay na ano na ano, 13 days. She is going to do it, I think, in three months. Okay, okay. Uh, three months yung loop niya. Uh, a more, le- a more leisurely, ano? A more yes, leisurely. Uh... And she is. Uh, she was already assigned by the DOT to visit certain places, no? That she mm-hmm. will be accommodated. So, for example, uh, she was in Ormoc, no? I mean, uh, a guy went to Boracay. He probably spent a day there. Uh-huh. Uh, this uh-huh. lady is in Ormoc. She had to stay there. She was staying there for four days. Okay. okay. And the uh, Department of Tourism, they were. They were asking which resorts would like to be featured. So, ini-invita siya ng mga resort. And she just features these resorts in the hope that our kababayans, yes. uh, they don't need to do it on a bike. They can they can take, a, you know, once, once it opens, they can take a plane to our mock and also visit these sites. So, mm-hmm. uh, we're working with her, you know, together with the DOT and with, uh, and with uh, the Moto Tourism Networks here to be able to to promote also the beauty of our country and she just happens to do it on a motorcycle yeah but uh, she's riding a BMW while doing this uh motor yes. tourism na to. she's using an F850 GS no? so by doing that ay si galeg galeg what's your name I mean, again uh, spencer her name is uh daniela her, uh, and her channel is uh, rides with daniela and right. uh, mo yan, Ira, no? she is just arriving in cebu this week and magtatatlong linggo na siya mula ba- nung umalis ng Manila. So talagang oh, dahan-dahan lang. Oo. Oh, 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 dahan-dahan oh. lang talaga. So pag, pag nakita mo naman yung vlog, feature na yung pagkain ng bawat city, maganda naman. Talagang maganda siya para sa para makita din ng kababayan natin na 
hindi lang iilan yung mga lugar na meron dito na kilala, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero doon mm-hmm. sa mga ibang mga probinsya natin, dito sa sa bansa natin, marami rin mga magagandang tanawin na pwedeng tingnan. And these are the things that BMW Motorrad are sponsoring, this kind of uh, activities. Yeah, to help promote uh, to help promote also the recovery of our economy mm-hmm. and uh, to continue our reco- uh, recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. These are the little mm-hmm. things that we can do also. Mm, I see. So, mukhang okay na si BMW Motorrad. No? Ilang motor na benta mo this year so far? Unti pa lang. Kulang pa. Kulang pa, no? <laughs> kulang pa. Siyempre, <laughs> laging kulang. Kulang. So, no, kulang, kulang, na kulang. Hindi lang kulang. Kulang na kulang pa. Yun. Siyempre, laging kulang. Siyempre, laging kulang yan, di ba? <laughs> Babenta yan eh. But... Dilipat na ako. How is BMW Cars doing at the moment? Kumusta naman si BMW Cars natin? Ah, you know, I cannot anymore complain. It is na, alam mo naman, ikaw, matagal ka na rin motoring journalist. So, alam mo naman oh. yung situation sa sakin na yun eh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pasalamat lang tayo. Nabuhay pa din. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, but we really need to do, we, we need to get back on track. Uh, mm-hmm. The car sales are are, are, are down, no? We are still lucky to be standing... Oh. We're still lucky to be selling a few cars here and there, but mm-hmm. uh, they're still down. And I and I think it's the whole industry. I think the yes. entire industry yes. we need to yes. recover. We need to we need to recover as one to be able to get back to, to be able to get back to the pre-pandemic levels as a first step, and then as a second step to be able to grow from there. Go from but, there. Uh, but yeah, I will not complain. I will not complain about but, our sales right now. Um, we are still lucky that everyone here is. Uh, we, we, we we have a strong team that is dedicated with us, and that is going to fight this pandemic together. But we look forward to the day that we can recover and uh, come back to our to better days in vehicle sales. Yon. You know, um, marami nang sasabi cars like uh, uh, BMW are medyo economic regression proof. I'm not saying pandemic proof, but uh, economic regression proof. So, despite these economic hardships, kaya pa rin ng mga bumibili ng BMW, bumili ng BMW, di ba? Meron pa naman. Oo. Meron pa naman. Pero syempre, hindi na ganun kadami. Oo. Uh, medyo, may, ano na yung, may, may, may singit na yung uh, cost, cost and effect ng pandemic dun sa yes, actually, choices nila, no? Actually, also, no? You have to understand also, the 2020 effectively has extended the life of your car by one year. Yeah. Dimo kina. 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 Quezon City, pupunta ako ng Cavite. Yeah. Oh. 8,000 kilometers yun, 9,000 a year. Eh, last year, 2,000 lang yata tinakunan sa sakyan ko last year. Eh. Eh, eh, hindi ka naman kasi pwede umikot eh. So. Exactly, sa bahay ka lang eh, di ba? Hindi naman pwede yeah. lumabas eh, so, sa bahay ka lang. Oh. So that's true. That's so, true. You, you're, right, right, eh. you're right. I, have a, I haven't thought of it from that point of view. Makagawa nga ng article tungkol dyan. Di ba? Diba, eh, eh, yeah. yeah. You're correct. You're correct. The lifespan of the car was extended by one year because of the lockdowns. And oh, oh, eh. that, tama ka, that is a major cause of concern for all the auto industry. Diba, I, right? if car, car, I mean, if you as an average Filipino, I would assume as uh, you are an average Filipino who probably travels 10,000 kilometers a year. More yeah. or less, no? Yeah, more or less, ganun na akin eh. Ganun yun sa akin eh. Oh, more or less. 10,000 kilometers ka a year. So in five years, 50. E ngayon yeah. yung 50 mo, six years na eh. Oh nga. Maybe even more pa, di ba? Maybe if you if you include 2021 na ganun din ka oh, konti yung travel yeah. time mo. Meron pa rin yan 2021 eh, like kami dito 30 40% workforce lang. So you oh. work from home natin. Hindi pa rin lumalabas. So hahaba talaga buhay ng sasakyan eh. Humaba buhay ng sasakyan. That's another oh, thing oh. we have to consider in the industry, no? Oh. In the industry. There are it has two years. There are two years in the life of these cars that we own now that pres- that's what, that was preserved. Na preserve uh-huh. yung buhay nila eh. So medyo uh-huh. dalawang taon yung nawala sa bentahan ng 
Oche. Diba? Di ba? Hindi ko naman sinasabing ganun. But it, it's a fact. It's not, I'm not, I'm not saying it is, that is a fact, no? But it's a factor. It's, a, it's something to be considered. It's something to be considered. Something to be considered. Kasi hindi na naluluma yung sasakyan mo, eh. Di ba? Kasi humabat oh. yung buhay, eh. Oh. So, so may extend din yung decision mo to get another one, to get a new one. Oh. Or to oh. upgrade. Oh. Kasi hindi pa naman kailangan. That's true, which is uh, one of the major driving forces in yes. getting an upgrade or getting a new car. Kung Especially, ko ng I, think, I think, as you know, after the house, after a house, the car is the second biggest investment of any family. Yes, yes. So if you defer the investment, and in, you know, if you take a look at people who buy these cars just because of transportation, and most cars are bought for transportation anyway, yeah, uh-huh. you can uh-huh. defer it a year or two, right? It's not it's not going to really hurt to defer a year or two. It's not so bad, actually. It's not so oh, bad. Especially at uh-huh. this time, no? Na may uh-huh. pandemia tayo. Mm-hmm. We should, that should be... I'll, 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 I'll go through that idea. Thank you for the idea, Spencer. You just gave me a good idea for... <laughs> Karoon lang ako na idea para sa story, di ba? <laughs> anyway, balik tayo sa BMW, di ba? Uh, anong mga modelo na na-launch mo this year? Uh, this year, this year ang isang pinakamalaking launch namin, yung 4 Series, which was introduced last uh, February, no? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Uh, after the 4 Series this week, uh, we're also introducing the new M cars, M3, M4, M5. And uh, also, together with this, which I think I'm seeing you tomorrow, no? Yeah, I will. Uh, yeah, and you will also see tomorrow here in our office that we will also have the very first bike that is branded as BMW M. Uh-huh. So it uh-huh. is also the aside from the the M3, M4, and M5 cars, they've been around for quite some time already. Yeah. A lot of people are familiar with this. But for the motorcycle, there is the model called the M1000 R or M1000 RR, and this is the first time BMW has put the M brand onto the motorcycle. Yun, I was going to say that. Eh. I've never heard of an M brand on a motorcycle. B- yes, this is this the is first, first one. Time. Yes. Oh, this is the first one. And I'll be seeing it tomorrow. Yes. Wow, everybody who's watching now, after tomorrow, I'll shoot a video and show it to everybody. Yeah. It's a very high, very limited production, very high performance motorcycle. Uh, mm. Only then can it be worthy of being called an M. Yeah, because... Alam mo naman yung level ng alam mo naman yung level of performance ng M ng BMW pag tinatakman mm-hmm. nila yung brand na yan medyo hanep ibang klase ang level of performance ng M right. batch right. na yan. Okay, before before anything else I'd like to ask uh, because I always ask this sa lahat ng mga guests natin dito na may na uh, auto auto brands uh, about the health and the safety protocols that they uh, put in place for all of their showrooms, uh, for all of their uh, service uh, base, service centers. Kumusta yung uh, health and safety protocols ng BMW para sa mga showrooms at service centers nila? Well, uh, we do have standard protocols that are there. Uh, hand washing is a must prior to entering every showroom and then temperature checks, face mask, face shield. I think this is now uh, normal, no? Uh, I think the big difference that we have here is that we do require hand washing. Mm-hmm. And uh, we've given and we've in, we've actually set up uh, wash basins at, the, at at each entry point of the dealership, and then of course sanitation is there. Uh, sanitation is there, and uh, also you know disinfecting the car for test drive. We make sure we practice social distancing, and uh, I think something that is unique. Or I don't know. I, I I do hope that our my, my my colleagues in the industry can practice this. Is that we do have regular testing for all our employees. Yes, yes. I've heard about no? that and I've known yeah, about that did. and and I like the the one the one one unique thing, talaga, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one unique thing I've seen in uh, BMW showrooms is the hand washing. Hindi ka makakapasok sa BMW showroom na hindi ka mm-hmm. nagbuhugas ng kamay. Kahit kliyente ka pa. I think, you know that hand washing, I think hand washing is one of the easiest ways to prevent the spread of COVID, no? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think so, that's the easiest. Alam natin so, yun eh, di ba? So, naglagay kami ng mga lababo sa, naglagay kami ng mga lababo sa mga entrada. So, oh, bago pumasok oh. sa mga opisina, kailangan magugas muna ng kamay. Oh. This is a pretty good investment. I've seen it and uh, I like it. It's a pretty good one. 
thank you very much Spencer. Maraming salamat sa oras mo. Alam mo, yan, yan din na lagi kong pinapasalamat sa mga nag-guest dito yung oras nila dahil uh, sa panahon na ngayon uh, ang hirap maghagilap ng oras ng tao dahil mas mahirap pala magtrabaho sa bahay eh, kaysa magtrabaho sa opisina. <laughs> <laughs> no, no araw gusto natin lahat ano eh, work from home eh. No nag work from home walang bakasyon, napansin mo ba 'yon Spencer? Siyempre, walang wala yeah, walang ako team dito. Ako nasa opisina ako ngayon. <laughs> diba? Yung work from home, kahit anong oras, pwedeng tumawag sa'yo yung kliyente mo, yung amo mo. Mm-hmm. Di ba? And, uh, and, and that's why... Yeah, and that's why I appreciate your time. Di ba? I appreciate your time because time now is so so expensive in in this day of work from home uh, situation. Mm-hmm. It's so hard yes. to get people correct. to give us time. Correct, so, correct. Thank, correct. Oh. So thank you. Thank, thank you for your thank time. You for inviting. Thank you so much oh. for inviting. It is an honor to be on your show. Well, you are, you're always welcome here. Kung meron kang mga bagong ilo-launch, meron kang gustong i-announce, meron kang promos or anything, give me a text. Alam mo naman yun. All you have to do is give me a text, shoot me an email. Thank you. Thank we'll you. Announce. Thank you for we'll it. announce it. We'll loudly announce. We'll gladly announce it in the show. Thank you very much, Spencer. And you have a good day. All right? Thank you. Thank, thank you for your time. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, Spencer Yu, the president of BMW Philippines. We'll be back after a few reminders. Blade Radio Live would like to thank the following sponsors. Dub Project. Hero Motorcycle Accessories. Micromagic Premium Car Care. Sparco Racing Accessories Pioneer Transcend Bosch Virtua Type S If you like the programs at Blade Radio Please support our sponsors. And now, let's get back to our regular program. Hey Bladers, lahat yan, nakita ninyo mga produktong yan. Well, makukuha nyo na yan online. For your car and motorcycle needs, Blade is now available on Grab Mart. Same day delivery ito like Grab Food para sa mga gusto ng less hassle purchase transaction. Download the Grab app. Ayan, nakikita nyo sa screen nyo and follow the four easy steps. It's right there on your screen. You can read it. Also, Blade is available on Zing app by Ayala Malls. Anywhere in the Philippines, mapapadala namin ang item order nyo gamit ang Zing app. Download again the Zing app and then follow those four easy steps. You're looking at it, one, two, three, four, that are on your screen. And you can get your products from Blade. Dahil sa situation natin ngayon, gusto namin ng Blade to make your shopping easier and safer dahil pwedeng COD o card payment na. Cashless ang transaction. What are you waiting for? Download the Grab and Zing app. At mag-shop online sa Blade for your car and motorcycle needs. Yo. And, of course, we have here our uh, PetShop.ph. I'm going to present to you some products from uh, PetShop.ph. These are your uh, cat food. And this is your Vitality uh, High uh, Energy Dog Food. Uh, and this is your Whiskas. Yeah, food. This is for your pets. Uh, of course, we have uh, shampoos uh, for your uh, dog over here from uh, PetShop.ph. There you go. There you go. There you go. And yeah, for your puppies, for your small dogs who still are not disciplined enough uh, to uh, do their uh, thing uh, outside, here is your here is your hush pet disposable diapers to make sure that hindi sila nagkakalat sa loob ng bahay nyo, bumili ho kayo nito. Ginamit ko to eh, para dun sa aking yung puppy. Pero nung araw eh, mabait naman yung puppy ko. Petshop.ph, oops, it fell down. Hindi ba? Petshop.ph, you can get this at www.petshop.ph or you can get it at Shopee, just type Petshop.ph or Lazada, just type Petshop.ph. And you can find it, your one-stop shop for your soon-to-be pet companion and pet care needs. If you want a physical store, you can go to Clipper Festival Mall in Alabang. That's a store. 
Clipper Festival uh, Harbor Point in Subic, Clipper in Marquee Mall in Angeles City, and Clipper Feliz Mall in Marikina City. Don't forget, it's www.petshop.ph for your pets needs. Yeah, diba? for your pet needs. And of course, don't forget, don't ever forget that uh, you should, uh, you must subscribe and follow and like our Car Club Philippines Facebook group. This is the group that gives you updates on the road, paha, traffic, may nagbanggaan, and all that kind. Of course, um, they also feature some uh, safety tips at uh, pinapakita namin yung mga pasaway na driver at saka mga ano mga kamoteng rider di ba to show you how not to drive of course if you get into trouble or uh, you get to stop in the middle of the road because of a flat tire a broken engine or something po pwede po ninyo i-post ito dito sa Car Club Philippines Facebook group at pag nakita ito ng mga members malamang sa hindi isa sa kanila ang pupunta sa iyo para i-rescue ka o tulungan ka Car Club Philippines Facebook group po wag po ninyong kakalimutan yeah di ba So, right after this, uh, Mako Commercial Break Muna ang Daily Drive. Hi everyone, and welcome to another Blade video. Today's topic is what to do after a car accident. When you get into a car accident, there are certain steps you may want to take in order to help make sure everyone is safe, to follow the law, and to get the insurance claim process started. Step 1, check yourself for injuries. If you're injured, call 911 or ask someone else to do so. If you're seriously injured, try not to move, and wait for emergency personnel. Step 2, check on the well-being of your passengers. If you're not too hurt to move, check on the other passengers in your car. If anyone's injured, get on the phone with emergency services or ask a bystander to call for help. Step 3, get to safety. If you're able to, move to the side of the road or a sidewalk. If your car is safe to drive and is causing a hazard where it is, Pull it to the side of the road. Otherwise, leave it where it is and get yourself to safety. Step 4. Call 911. Whether an accident is considered a minor fender bender or a major collision, calling the police is important, and in some states, it's legally required. The responding officers will fill out an accident report and document the scene. If the police can't come to the scene of the accident, you can go to the nearest police station and complete a report yourself, according to the third. When you file a claim with your insurer, they may ask for a copy of the police report to help with the claims process. Step 5. Wait for help. Turn off your engine, turn on your hazard lights and use the road flares in your emergency car kit to warn other vehicles to slow down. Step 6. Exchange information. After making sure you and any passengers are uninjured, exchange contact and insurance information with the other driver. According to the third, here's the most important information drivers should exchange after an accident, full name, insurance company and policy number, driver license, type, color, and model of vehicle, location of accident. Step 7. Document the accident. In order to help protect yourself, the third recommends taking the following, identify the officers, take pictures, take down names, get a copy of accident report. Step 8. Notify your insurer and start the claims process. You may want to call your insurance agent while you're at the scene. That way, they can tell you exactly what they will need to in order to process your claim and what to expect during the claims process. Do you agree with our recommendation? Comment down below. We would love to hear from you. An accident can leave even the most seasoned driver frazzled, but following these steps may help protect you from unnecessary worries. That way, you can focus on working with your insurance company to get your vehicle repaired as smoothly and as quickly as possible. If you like this video, and would like to help other drivers, please like and share our video. We have a whole library of explainer videos in this channel. And a new video is published every day. Hit subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so you will not miss out on any of our new releases. Only from Blade Auto Center. It's Blade. It's better. Excellent advice for when you get into an accident. Don't forget those steps. Uh, in uh, many instances, no, in all instances, 
uh, all of those uh, steps are requirements for insurance uh, claims. So don't forget those, the police report, the filing proper, the documentation. Uh, you should always be able to follow that in order to uh, get your insurance claim. But more than ever, be safe when you drive. Okay, let's go to industry news now. Let's start with uh, Nissan. Nissan just uh, donated uh, the an electric uh, vehicle, an EV, to the Vatican. This is the Leaf, their uh, most famous uh, electric uh, vehicle uh, to date. In time with the, the World Environment Day celebration, Nissan delivered a Nissan Leaf full EV to the Vatican. The donation signifies the two organizations' shared goal toward carbon neutrality. The Nissan Leaf was received by Cardinal Giuseppe Bertello, president of the Governorate of Vatican City State and President of the Pontifical Commission for Vatican State. The donation follows the launch of the Vatican's Laudato Si Action platform to make Catholic institutions environmentally sustainable within seven years, which takes its name from the Pope's landmark 2015 encyclical on the environment. The managing director for Nissan in Italy, Marco Toro, was the one who handed over the keys to the White Leaf during a special ceremony at the Vatican. He said he is honored on behalf of Nissan to support the Holy See on the path towards decarbonization, which is of its operation, of which is a goal of Nissan. There you go. Our next industry news on the cars uh, is set to move to a bigger site. Um, Honda Cars Philippines officially announced that Honda Cars Fairview is set to move to a new location. Last May 27, 2021, Honda Cars Fairview held the uh, groundbreaking ceremonies of its upcoming new site. Uh, while the other site, the old site, reopened last December 2020 under the business group of uh, Gateway Fairview Motors Corporation, Honda Cars Fairview is currently located at the Don Mariano Marcos Avenue, Commonwealth Avenue, Quezon City, uh, and provides sales and after services such as preventive maintenance and general repairs. Set to open by the second quarter of 2022, the new site will have a total size of 3,660 square meters and will be strategically located in Mindanao Avenue, Corner Regalado Street, Fairview, Quezon City, along the main highway and nearby commercial areas. So on the cars, Fairview will offer the latest product lineup and complete vehicle service facilities for general repair, preventive maintenance, and body and paint requirements. Next is a Lamborghini. The news about Lamborghini. The Lamborghini Essenza SCV12. A result of uh, outstanding design engineering. Uh, you can see in the picture is the Lamborghini Essenza SCV12, a limited edition hyper car exclusively made for non competitive track use, uh, which feature a carbon fiber monocoque chassis. Homologated according to the FIA Hypercar Safety Standards, the Essenza SCV12 is a testament to Lamborghini's 30 years of experience in the study and application of composite materials in automobiles. The carbon fiber chassis of Essenza is produced in the auto claves of Automobili Lamborghini CFK department in Sant'Agata, Bolognese, the same division in charge with the production of the current Aventador line. The testing required by the FIA for the chassis homologation is extremely rigorous, involving both static and dynamic tests. The Lamborghini Squadra Corsa technician thus extensively modified the structure of the production chassis from which the Essenza SCV-12 chassis is derived. Next news. We'll talk about Lexus. And... A survey, a survey, an American survey shows Americans deem Lexus ES and GX as a most dependable car models. This is based on the 2021 edition of the JD Power's U.S. Vehicle Dependability Study. JD Power is one of those uh, survey companies that does regular uh, surveys on uh, automotive products. Uh, it says the Lexus ES Luxury Sedan and Lexus GX Premium SUV top the survey as the most dependable car models. A study that has been done in the past 32 years, VDS measures the number of problems original owners experienced from their three-year-old vehicles. During the past year, it covers 177 specific uh, vehicular problems grouped into eight categories. 
the lower the score, the higher the vehicle is dependable. Lexus scored 8 to 1 compared to the average 121, which shows the reliability and dependability of the brand. Specifically, the Lexus ES won in the best compact premium uh, car category, while the Lexus uh, GS won in the medium mid-size premium SUV category. This is the ninth time in 10 years uh, Lexus has ranked the highest among all car brands on dependability in the U.S. survey. Next, what's our next? Our next is about Toyota Land Cruiser. The Toyota is now introducing the new Land Cruiser. Oh, yeah, na, dun sa mga mahilig sa Land Cruiser. This Land Cruiser is uh, the LC300. The Land Cruiser was launched in August 1951. As the four-wheel drive Toyota BJ equipped with a powerful engine which demonstrated a high level of road performance in adverse environments, uh, becoming the first vehicle to climb up to the sixth checkpoint of Mount Fuji. All right. The, since then, a cumulative total of approximately 10.4 million units and more than 300,000 units a year have been in, sold to customers in 170 countries and regions all over the world. Uh, now we are seeing on your screen, you are seeing the redesigned new Land Cruiser 300 series. This is the successor to the LC200 that debuted in 2007. This is a station wagon model as the flagship model of the Land Cruiser series. It has in every generation led the way in vehicle revolution while incorporating the latest technologies. The development objective for the Cruiser were is as follows, inheriting and evolving the Land Cruiser's essence of reliability, durability, and off-road performance, creating a riding experience that enables the driver to drive with ease on any type of road in the world without tiring easily. And with these objectives in mind, Toyota adopted the new GAF platform based on the TNGA while keeping the frame structure, which is the foundation that protects the Land Cruiser's essence. The redesign of the Land Cruiser's features with the adoption of the new GAF platform yeah you can see the platform on your screen at the moment and that is our news yan yeah. yung uh, balita tungkol sa industriya at the moment oh of course by the way uh there's news from uh Kampi that uh, i haven't uh, announced uh kanina nga sinasabi ni Spencer uh problema ang uh, pagbenta ng uh, kotse sa bansa but uh, even then uh, the Chamber of Automotive Manufacturers of the Philippines uh, and the Truck Manufacturers Association has shown a total uh, vehicle sales for May 2021 reaching 22,062 units equivalent to 23.6% growth from the uh, previous month 17,843 units uh, year on year uh, growth is uh, 361% from the 4,788 units sold in the same period a year ago. It... And year to date, the industry has sold 110,217 units, a 57.8% increase compared to the same period last year. We'll be back for the raffle after this commercial.
And for your car needs. <laughs> Galik talaga. I can never get over that uh, MTV. But for your car needs, you want some sunshade because it's hot outside. This is from Blade. This is your sunshade. You put it on your windshield so that it keeps the sun out, keeps the heat out. Para pagsakay mo, hindi nakakapaso ang upuan at manubela mo. Get your Blade sunshade. It's only $149.75. Also, this one, this is your seatbelt pads. Uh, I use this when I drive because uh, I, I use it as support for my seatbelt. Uh, many people use it on their chest. Uh, but mem, uh, but I use it on my shoulders to uh, keep the friction uh, minimal or away from my shoulders when I uh, use my seat belts. You can get this at uh, Blade. It's two hundred forty nine seventy five. And of course, if you have kids or even if you don't, your car headrest cup holder. It's a accessory cup holder. You put it uh, in any different parts of your car that can hold it, and voila. You have a place to put in your soft drink or your coffee or whatever. Uh, if you have a lot of children, you will need one of these. No, you will need five of these if you have five kids in your car. This is from uh, Blade. This is the Blade Car Headless Cup Holder. It's $199.75. You can get all of these at any uh, Blade uh, Auto Center uh, shop in any malls and any of their stores. Uh, here in uh, along uh, Timog and the one that's opening in uh, Mindanao Avenue. Uh, or at any major mall, or you can log into blade.ph and just order it online. And of course, we have a uh, save alert from Pertua. Uh, save up to 20% off on your favorite Pertua products when you shop at any Blade, Blade stores nationwide from June 1 to 30. Don't miss the chance, Bladers. Uh, I'll see you there June 1 to 30. Shop online and you save 20% off on, on, on any of your favorite Tertua products. And what's this for? This is our price for the for the waffle. Saka yung payo. For, the, for our raffle right now, the one we're doing with the roleta. Okay, you get this. Oh, yeah, this is from Pertua and this t shirt. This is a Pertua payong and a Pertua t shirt. I'll show you. I'll show you. Oh, it's nice, no? I'll put it on. It's mine now. You can't have it. Nah, it's your price. <laughs> it's your price. When we do our roleta raffle, which is happening right now. Game na tayo ng roleta. Diba? Let's spin a win. Oh, habang nag spin ha? you have to be present. You have to be here. Di ka mananalo pag di ka present. Pag natawag pangalan mo, Ingo Selasnog. Baliktad na Gonzales yan. Ingo Gonzales. Di ba? Oh, say present. I will count to 20. Pag di ka nag-present, Ingo. Wala. Bibigay namin sa iba to. 20. 19. Let's go, Ingo. 18. Let's go, Ingo. 20. Ayun! Bilis ni Ingo. <laughs> Ingo, you get this nice for two shirt. I'll show it to you again so you can uh, screen grab mo. Yan. Screen grab mo ito. You get this for two a shirt. Yeah, no. You get this. And of course, you get this nice payong para hindi mainit sa paglabas mo ng bahay. Alright? Okay? You uh, get in touch with uh, our friends at the technical side for uh, how to uh, get in touch with you so you can get your prize uh, from Blade Auto Center. Don't forget those three words. Blade Auto center okay okay that's it for me guys i gotta go in the meantime don't forget it's sent by kaju every monday for isang pangarap it's love love every tuesday for blade moto it's mr right every wednesday for blade stories it's me ira panganiban for thursdays in our daily drive bloody boom naman every friday with jack logan what's up bladers on saturday with dj rapido and blade stories reloaded with mr right every sunday don't forget those. These are our wonderful weekly lineup, daily lineup to complete your week if you want to be entertained. In the meantime, I gotta go. Kailangan ko na sumibat. Batsin ako, mga friends and lovers. I will go now. I will see you again next week. But in the meantime, I gotta say bye-bye. My name is Ira Panganiban. Love, peace, out. Bye-bye. Blade Radio Live would like to thank the following sponsors. Dub Project.
Hero Motorcycle Accessories Micromagic Premium Car Care Sparco Racing Accessories Pioneer Transcend Bosch For two wa Type S. If you like the programs at Blade Radio, please support our sponsors. And now, let's get back to our regular program. Blade Auto Center offers you a wide range, wide range of car accessories, auto parts, tools, and car-related gift ideas. Gift ideas. Find everything you need here at Blade Auto Center. You're tuned in to Blade Radio. Blade Radio Here at Blade Auto Center, we always put our customers first. We know our parts and products, and we've got the best merchandise at the right price. At the right price. This is Blade Radio. Blade Radio. Hey there guys, Saber here. Welcome back to Blade Radio. Here we're always pushing the pedal when it comes to bring you the best mix of driving music and high quality value for money car products and services. You got Edge right here too and you are absolutely right Saber. It's all here under one roof. And what's more, our friendly and attentive staff is always on hand to give you expert advice on the latest car products available. Of course, Blade offers top industry brands like Sparco, 3M, Dub, Meguiar's, Pioneer, Mothers, Garment, and many more, all of course at a very reasonable price. We hope you enjoy your visit here at Blade Auto Center. Meanwhile, let's get right back to the music. Keep it here and always remember, if, if it's, it's Blade, Blade, it's better! better. 